Hi everyone, Holly Harris here from Intuitive Mind Wellness. Today we're going to talk about calling back your energy and clearing people from your space. So how do we take on other people's energy and how do we give our energy away? If you are an empath, you probably experience this all the time. Um, you can feel the emotions of people around you. You can walk into a room and know what other people are feeling or if someone that you love or you care about is feeling really angry or upset you can take on their emotions um, so we all have an energy field that extends around us about eight feet and we're exchanging energy with people all day long we give our energy away we take energy there's always some kind of exchange going on and so what can happen is we can have courting or we can just take on the energy of other people. It's going to happen. There's not much you can do to avoid it. You can shield yourself, but you are going to be exchanging energy. So some symptoms of this can be you feel fatigue or weakness. You can feel tired all the time. Um, you can feel like your emotions are not your own. So um, I've heard of people often who are empaths who will say things like, um, well, my husband was feeling really angry and then all of a sudden I got really angry and it felt like those were not my feelings. So these can be some symptoms of taking on other people's energy and how you can kind of recognize that it's not your own. So why is it important to send people back their energy and call back your own? Um, when you do this, this can make you feel whole again. <laughs> For me, um, when I first started doing the motion code, when I started doing energy work, I would work on people and I would get done at the end of the day and I was completely exhausted. And a lot of times I was feeling the symptoms of the people that I worked on and I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then I realized um, over time that I was giving my energy away to people and I was taking on a lot of the energy I felt like as I was releasing things from them, they were coming on to me and um, I wasn't clearing myself when I was done. And so I actually stopped doing energy work for a time because I just thought, I can't do this. It just makes me feel like crap all the time and I love helping people, but I just feel like garbage and I'm so sick of feeling like garbage. Well, it was because I didn't know or have these tools. And so once I learned how to call back my energy and to kind of cut people off energetically, um, it was a whole new ball game and it really changed the way I did things and how I felt as a person. Um, I've always kind of had fatigue as just as an adult and I never understood why and when I started learning to call back my energy that kind of disappeared and it's been so amazing to have this tool. Start? You can start by checking to see how many people you have in your space so like I'll just muscle test and I say like how many people do I have in my space? I have one, I have two people in my space. So you can, sometimes you do have to know um, what's going on to be able to clear your space. But I can just ask like, um, do I need to know anything to clear these people from my space? And more often than not, that's the case. But sometimes you'll clear your space and the, you know, the people won't leave. And so you have to ask more questions and kind of narrow down what's going on. But most of the time you can, and you don't even have to ask how many people are in your space. So most of the time you can just clear it and the people are gone. So um, I get the question a lot, well, what if I don't want to clear people from my space? Like what if I'm energetically connected to my husband or my children or my spouse or whatever? Um, it is really important for us to have energetic boundaries for the health of the people around us and for our health. And so we love our children and we love our husband and our spouse or our partner, but it's also important for us to have our own boundaries and our own space. Um, this will help us to be more functional, just to live a better life in general. So we start by sending back the energy of the people who are in our space. Um, so you can do this in your mind or you can say the words. It just depends on what works better for you. Um, we can pretty much do anything with our intention, but I'll just kind of describe to you how I, how I do it, but you can kind of tailor it to fit what works for you. So I usually ground myself first. Um, I just start by running, and in my mind, I run a grounding cord from my tailbone through my legs down into the earth. And then I bring up some earth energy and just kind of imagine roots growing out my feet and just kind of really ground my energy to the earth. And then I will, um, sometimes you can close your eyes and you can see like 
people in your space or you can see balls of energy or whatever but if you're not very visual then that's fine but I will close my eyes and I will just say um I'm sending back any energy that does not belong to me and I'm sending it lovingly and gently back to those whom it does belong to. And um, if that's how you can say it, you can also do it visually the way I used to do it was, um, I used to imagine like a ball of light in the center of my chest and it kind of growing and growing and growing and then it would like kind of go off like a bomb and just push all the energy that wasn't mine out of my space, out of my aura, you know, far away. <laughs> Um, this is not as gentle, so like if you have other people in your space, it may kind of, and maybe they may not be sensitive enough to feel it, but it may be kind of harsh for them if you're sending back their energy in a bomb. But sometimes, like for me when I first started, I had to do it that way because it wasn't very good about cutting people off. So it's just whatever kind of works for you. next you call back your energy and this is my favorite part so um, if you're visual you can imagine a big ball golden Sun over your head with a really strong magnet in the center of it so I'll close my eyes and I imagine the Sun over my head and I just imagine all of my energy from wherever I left it is sucking back it's coming from it it can be miles and miles away and it's just all it, the magnet is pulling all of my energy back into the sun and then um, if you are need to say the words if you're not very visual you can say I'm calling back my energy from all directions and on and on and so on and so um, once your sun is filled if you're doing it visually you just kind of imagine all your energy raining back down out of the sun into your body and I like to imagine it kind of coming up my legs and filling my whole being and all of my energy is mine again and so um, this is how you call back your energy and clear your space I hope there was this this is how you call back your energy and clear your space I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching